Blessings and welcome, conscious people of the planet. I'm Fahad, and today I wanted to help you in dealing with cravings, one, and also how you could be a better eater, a, be a more mindful eater, right? Eating is something that we do. It's a very sensitive topic, I understand that. A lot of people get offended, a lot of people don't like to listen. A lot of people seek solace in their eating habits and so that's why including myself including myself sometimes i still find myself um escaping to a certain degree in food to be very honest with you but the difference maker is when i am mindful when i am mindful the whole landscape is different because now I can view myself as an outsider and that's exactly what we should be doing. We should be creating a little distance between who we are and our body and when that happens we become crystal clear as to what is good for this body and what is not. And so there is a topic of fasting, right, uh, the power of fasting and the, it's, it's the lost wisdom in thin air. Quite literally, right? All these great sages and all these great people of, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 years before or even more. But from the literature that, that is available to us, that, that is available to me, that I have gone through, I've seen all these great people, all people who have transcended above the normal planes of consciousness, above what a normal man or an average man is expected to do the people who have transcended that who have gone above that many of them have spoken of about fasting and how beautiful what a miraculous powerful technique fasting is for cleansing all the impurities and all the unnecessary material that that lives within the body as a because of years and years of uh, of living on this planet you know whatever your habits may be we all are prone to a degree of impurities that that go and live within our bodies and the best way to get rid of these impurities the best way to get rid of the diseases that you might be facing as well the very best way guys is fasting right and um, while I was going through my fasting, while I go through my fastings, I've, I've realized that one must truly pay attention to what their body feels like when they are in a fasted state. When you're in a fasted state, you know, after I would say 20 hours, give or take, you know, anywhere from 18, 20 hours and beyond, no ma I usually do on water, so I'm, I'm water fasting, not doing dry fasting. I don't recommend yet dry fasting for a very long time. But if you're on water fasting and 20 plus hours, um, or whatever your thing might be, right? There's a point in time that body starts to feel light, right? It starts to feel very, very light and you feel very liberated from your body limitations to give you an example when you eat when you have a heavy heavy meal let's say you are so attached you are so um, confined and limited to your body's uh, limitations or your body's feelings so when you eat heavy you feel like this, lousy, and whatever you want to do, you are limited to do because your body is feeling so heavy and lethargic and lousy and lazy. That's the exact opposite of what fasting could make you feel. In fasting, you feel liberated like no tomorrow, right? One could reach these levels by doing re uh, regular yoga. That's why yoga is recommended uh, in in you know, ancient yogic literatures and wisdoms. And that's why meditation is, is, uh, is recommended as well. For somebody who wants, to, who, who wants to know the power of even yoga and meditation, real quick, 
they can just go on a fast, just one fast, and it'll make you realize how liberated you feel from your body's limitations. And that exact feeling, guys, is what I want you to associate your good, pleasurable life with. When you reach that stage where you feel liberated from your own body's limitations, you feel liberated, free, free. You, you are not entangled in it, right? Yet you are involved. You have, not, you, know, you have not completely left your body, but you are, to a certain degree, not your body at all, right? That feeling, that feeling of freedom from your body is what I want you to associate your life with as opposed to associating your majority of your life as associating majority of your life with feeling like this heavy lousy lazy i don't want you to be that nothing great comes out of that it's just and a very very evil way to live really to be very frank with you right in uh, the more affluent the society gets the more modern the society gets the modern man seeks pleasure in eating like this and then feeling like this and then not being able to do anything and <laughs> you know pressing some buttons on a plastic device called remote and watching some netflix that's not a very wise way to live isn't it that's what what kind of life is that your life should be liberated from this body's limitations so you can go out there or go within you and create great things. I'm not saying you can't do that by being lousy and lethargic, but you're making it unnecessarily difficult for you. I hope that this, 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 this comes out clear. This is what it means to be liberated, to be free from your body and fasting very well in a very tangible way allows you to do that. And for, for, for some of you who are not on a fruit diet, who are not... So why I talk about this, guys, is because I'm a fully fruit-eating man, or I should say 80 to 90% uh, fruit-eating man, and the rest of the times I eat a bit of cooked food, all vegan. There's no question about it. The reason why I do a fruit diet is because this allows me to feel very light and very well-nourished at all times so that I can have very... Um, so I can transcend to higher and higher and higher planes of consciousness because to be liberated from your body is to already be on a very high plane of consciousness. Over there, in this plane of consciousness, a lot of intuition, a lot of wisdom lives. And you come closer and closer to who you truly are and being connected to who you truly are is the ultimate, ultimate freedom, the ultimate contentment, fulfillment. <laughs> I hope this, uh, this adds value to you and makes you uh, wonder a little bit. It makes you want to achieve your own higher planes of consciousness. Thank you for listening to me, all right? Thank you for making it happen for yourself. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel, only if you wish to. However, I, I personally would greatly appreciate if you were to. It's going to help me reach out to so many more people out there with this conscious thought process and a conscious planet overall. <laughs> and guys, I wish you all the very best. I'll see you in the next video.